The Sinem international team made the quiet entry into the country today from Brisbane. The couples were impressive in their return leg in Tahiti despite facing hiccups in their first outing. They were, of course, uh, very happy and they really deserved it. In my opinion, uh, they had also deserved a win in, in the first game, but there were certain circumstances that uh, made it very difficult for us in the first game. The team returned without overseas base players, including skipper Michael Foster and Nigel Dabinyaba. Coach Fleming Sertslev praised his players for believing in themselves and sticking to their game plan for the win. Since it was first time ever that uh, Papua New Guinea beat uh, Tahiti and uh, of course I'm proud of them because they have now for the last year actually made uh, many historical wins and many historical results and it's really good for the country. Beating Tahiti will go down in PNG's football history books as the first ever win against the Francophone nation. One Sarislav believe is the first of many more wins to come. A uh, victory was absolutely necessary to uh, continue in, um, in the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, now we have reached uh, this first goal. Uh, the next goal will be to beat uh, Solomon in Solomon Islands in the first game there. When asked about his feelings as a coach and achieving such a milestone with the national team, the humble Dane puts it simple. It's not so important for me uh, that it's the first win for me as, as a coach. The, most, the, the important thing is that every time that we take the shirt over our heads, we fight for the country. And uh, it's actually one of the biggest aims for, for our players and for the whole squad that we want to make uh, Papua New Guineans proud. However, the team will rest for a couple of weeks before getting back into training mode. The third leg of the OFC 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers returns in June with PNG facing Solomon Islands at home. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.